reaction to that uh, rock that came out of nowhere? Um, I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted for Lee. Uh, you can see every time he had a trade up, he'd get that's when he'd get caught. But when he kept his distance and he was using his lead hand for the space, taking up the space and keeping keeping Lara's activity low and minimal, that's when he was having his success. And then you just see on on the replay there, you just see how he was hooking with the hooker. Um, it just it just made a cardinal sin when you're in with somebody like that. It carries dynamite. Whenever you throw a hook, you're rolling the guys. And if your hand's lower, and if you get beat to it, you see it over and over again. And it paid the price, and it's something that it was boxing so well. It's boxing so well. Um, I'm good for him. I'm good for him. Up until that moment, did you see that happening? Because it looked like at some point he was going to break Laura down. Yeah, he was, he was, Laura was looking at you know the body shots, the body work, stabbed downstairs, the beautifully timed right hands. Everything was having an accumulative effect. You can see what they were doing. You can see why they wanted Laura. Why they picked? Let's not forget he picked Laura. But you can see why because Laura does make does leave you gaps and does give you opportunities if you have a calm mind and if you can control that distance. And I thought Lee did. But every time he had a swing up a little bit, sometimes he'd have some success and he'd start trading a little bit, get, get carried away, get caught with shots. And, you know, it, it is what it is. He's, he's, you know, he's, he's made a mistake. This is boxing. When you're in there taking, taking fights with big punches, you run that risk. And when we have two big punches in there, the natural instinct is to, is to look for those big shots. And sometimes you can get beat to it, and that's what happens. The big talking point is going to be the stoppage. I think there's about 10 seconds left. Do you think Ben Davidson made the right call? It takes a split second to put somebody in hospital. And Ben knows his fighter. When Lee gets up, I thought he was I thought his, his legs were in a bad way, I thought he was gone. My instant instant reaction is is in against a monster punch who's gonna come in and just swing. I wasn't conscious about the clock. Maybe Ben's not conscious about the clock, but even if he is. It takes a split second. He has to make that judgment call right there, right then. We all want to say, oh yeah, give him a chance. There's 10 seconds left. He can get the round out. Remember when Kid Alahad walked straight out after he had a minute's rest, walked straight out against Kiko, and because his legs weren't there, his head wasn't there, walked straight out, boom, bad, bad knockout. You don't want to, as a coach, you don't want to see that with the fire. So I, I back Ben 100% on, on that stoppage, 100% the right, right decision. But Lee, 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 Lee Fury could go on, a lot of the crowd will think that he could go on. But ultimately, Ben responsible for his health there, and he made that call. Last question, should there be a rematch? Would well, you want to see that again? Let's see it again, you know? It's great, great fight, a real good fight. Great call, thank you for your reaction.